Pasam National High School in East Subic Province has graduated more than 100 students during its 33rd graduation on Friday. The 33rd graduation marks a new start to this once bright, vibrant higher learning institution of Papua New Guinea. The 132 students not only became the 33rd batch to pass out from the school, but they also became the first to graduate under the new Pasam National High School. Ben Kedoga reports from WeWAC. After months of dry weather, the heavens opened up just after lunch as if to indicate that a new dawn has arrived for Pasam National High School. Pasam National High School in the past decade has been riddled with many controversies, but one that stood out prominently was the call practiced by past students of the school that eventually brought the school to its knees. But during the graduation ceremony, school principal Raymond Bakavi said the old Pasam that everyone knows of is gone adding that they now have a new look Pasam, which has God in the center of everything they do. Our mission since we started on the 17th of March 2014 is to produce a person that is disciplined, determined, dedicated in the use of, in the acquisition and use of knowledge in all life skills. We are pursuing this through spiritual activities, and education in partnership with our local churches and our other stakeholders. The school only started taking students again on the 17th of March last year. Mr. Bakavi says that the grade 12 students of 2015 had performed exceptionally well in their internal assessments and he predicted good results to come from their external examinations. He said students' attitude towards their studies and respect towards their teachers Fellow students and the surrounding communities have dramatically changed in the past months. Meantime, the outgoing students representative co-president Darius Baumba also shared similar sentiments. This person will never be the same again like what it used to be a long time ago. Because of cult practice, womanizing, alcohol, drug consumption and all these things have made this institution to collapse. Ben Keroga, NBC National News, WeWeck.